Hi guys, it's Rashmina and welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to be trying on some new makeup and that is my Huda Beauty Light Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Along with this, I will be doing a full face, easy wearable makeup look. So I am very excited because these shimmers look really nice and they're also not too bright. So I think you can wear them even during the daytime and I might be using these two, the center one and this one and I will come back after doing my base and go through the whole process with you. So keep watching. To start, I will be moisturizing my face. You can use any moisturizer like I don't think it really matters. And uh, after this, I will be using BB cream and then I'll be using concealer over here. If you're going out, it's probably a good idea to wear some sunscreen as well because you want to protect your skin from all that sun damage. So uh, BB cream. I am going to be using the same BB cream that I always use. It's this one from Kiko and it's called the Daily Protection BB Cream. So, whoops, my, my lid has uh, rolled off, but I will be using little blobs all over my face like that. And once that's done, I will be using a brush to blend the entire thing out. And then we can start with the eyes. Okay, so my base is done. My skin looks nice and even. Now I'll be concealing my under eye area with the Maybelline 25 Medium Concealer. Fit Me, Fit Me Concealer. And I... will be using it in the areas that I would like to lighten. And now for blending. Okay, so now that our base is done, we'll be moving straight into the eyeshadow. I will be using this nice rosy pink shade because I think it's a very soft color and it would add a really nice touch. So I'm taking it onto my brush. I'm just using that all over my eye. You might not be able to see it because it is really light, but that's the point because it's it's a color that can really blend in with your skin very nicely. So now I'm going to be using this color, which is a little darker on the outer corners of my eye to add a little bit of a curve to my eye and make it more shapely. So now what we have to do is take a brush and just nicely blend everything so that it spreads out evenly all over and I'll just be diffusing that color like that over the outside areas of my eye. Glittery shades always work really well with your fingers as well so you can just put your finger in and use it over your eye. I can show you the difference if I do this. Look. Okay guys, I have done my liner and I have drawn them very stretched out and outwards. So I might look kind of catty to you, but <laughs> this is fashion now. Cat? Wham. Okay, so now we are going to be doing brows. My favorite my favorite and for this I will be taking some brow gel on a brush and just adding little strokes to my tiny tiny brow hair 
to make them not so tiny. Whoops. Shit. Just fill in the areas which are a little less dense and then drag it out a little bit to add some curve and add some kind of shape to your face look. As you can see, brows make a huge difference and it completely changes your face which is why I love brows. And I like to do mine in a arched V type shape because it makes me look foxy. Okay, no more animal references. I am done. And now we'll be moving to blush. Using this bright reddish blush from NYX. And the shade is Rouge. Rouge. <laughs> And now that my blush is done, I will be putting on some lip gloss. So for, for lip gloss, I'm actually going to be using lip gloss and lipstick. <laughs> this lipstick I'm going to be using is again Huda Beauty. It is from the same set that I got. And again, it's a nude shade. It's this color. So for highlighter, I will be using a fan brush and I will be adding a thin stroke down my nose and on the cheeks. Okay, so now for the finishing touches, I will be using lip gloss like I mentioned. So guys, if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and like, share, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.